What's up YouTube? Jeff your style OG. And on today's video, we're going to talk about the seven boot types you need for this fall and winter. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Darren Myers, salute. Now as colder weather approaches, or depending on where you live, has already arrived, it's time to ease up on the sneakers and maybe even the dress shoes and start wearing those boots more often. But when you're endeavoring to be a stylish guy, you don't want to get stuck with just one type of boot. Now as much as I love my Tims, you probably don't want to wear them every day. That's why in today's video, I'm going to give you seven boot types to choose from. Some on the rugged side, some on the dressy side, and some in between. So without any further delay, let's get into the seven boot types you need to check out for this fall and winter. Now as always, I gotta give my usual disclaimer for you semantics guys out there. You don't need all seven of these boots. Maybe grab two or three, four or five that suits your style and your needs. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the first boot. Now the one boot hands down that I always suggest for fall or winter because it looks good on almost every guy, has to be that chucka boot. It's rugged, it's durable, it's timeless, it's masculine. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with chinos, you can wear it with some cords or some trousers. It's probably the most versatile boot out there. And like I said, I haven't seen a guy yet that it doesn't look good on. Whether you choose a leather one or your more classic suede style, like my Clark's original desert boot, you can never go wrong having in your fall or winter rotation a chucker boot. Now next up on the list, I have what I like to call the chucker boots sexier cousin. Of course, I'm talking about a Chelsea boot. Chelsea boot is another timeless classic style, but it's a little bit more edgier, a little bit more rock and roll. And whether you're choosing a leather one for dressier situations or the suede Chelsea boot, you can't go wrong. And it's a style of boot you can wear throughout the fall and the winter. And it's very versatile. Wear it with jeans, wear it with chinos, wear it with trousers. I even love to throw mine on with the suit. It's a boot you can easily dress up or dress down. You definitely can't go wrong having a Chelsea boot in your fall and winter boot rotation. Next up, we have a style of boot I'm constantly suggesting to you guys, and I'm gonna keep pushing it on you till you get the message. You definitely wanna add a dress boot to your collection. Now the reason why I love dress boots and highly recommend them, they give you the ruggedness of a boot, but in any dress shoe style you might wanna choose from. Whether it's a cap toe, a wing tip, there's a dress boot out there that suits your style. And of course, during the colder or inclement weather, a dress boot is much more practical than a dress shoe. And the bonuses about dress boot I always highlight, when you put it on, it pushes your trousers up a little bit off the ground, up and protect them for rain or snow. So if you want to combine the style of a dress shoe but the ruggedness of a boot, you definitely want to add a dress boot to your boot rotation. Now, of course, when it comes to fall and especially the winter, it isn't always about looking good. We got to have a little bit more function and practicality. That's why I highly suggest in your boot rotation, you have what I like to call an inclement weather boot. Whether we're talking about a snow boot or a rain boot. Definitely want to have some boots in your rotation that are made to withstand the rain and snow. One of my all-time favorites that I wear in the snow, but especially in the rain, is my L.L. Bean duck boot. But being as though I live in Philly and I gotta be prepared for snow, I've got an even warmer boot, this great one from Ugg. Has that famous Ugg shirling inside, tough, rugged, and durable. Definitely a great choice for the winter and the snow. Make sure you grab you some boots for that inclement weather. Next up, I'm gonna talk about a category of boot that I consider an all-around, durable, do-it-all boot. I'm talking about a work boot. A work boot is definitely a great combination of form and function. Whether you're talking about your good old construction Timberland boot or even more standard work boot, such as a Red Wing or this from Sutro, a work boot adds durability and protection to those precious feet. And this is the category that gives all my guys out there, including myself, the excuse to wear those tins. A work boot is an absolute essential in the cold weather. Make sure you grab you some Tims or some other pair of work boots for your collection. Now for my last two choices on our list of the best boots for fall and winter, I've got a couple of underrated overlooked ones in my opinion. Starting with the hiking boot. 
A couple reasons why I love a hiking boot. For me, when I still want to get outside during the cold weather, whether I'm walking, trying to get a little exercise in, have to make it through some rugged terrain, a hiking boot is lightweight but still protective at the same time. Not as heavy as a work boot, but still pretty protective and durable. And this hands down is definitely what I wear when I try to go out in colder weather to take a walk or maybe do some hiking. So I definitely think after you have a couple of other pair of boots in your collection, you might want to think about grabbing a pair of hiking boots. And last, but certainly not least, on my list of the seven boots you need this fall and winter, I've got another underappreciated one, but one I've been pushing a lot the last couple of months. I'm talking about the Jodhpur. The Jodhpur to me is another timeless classic boot, but one you hardly see anyone wearing. I like to call it the Chelsea boot with a little extra detail. It's sleek, it's elegant, it's smooth, everything you look for in a Chelsea boot, but it has the extra detailing of the buckle and the strap, just a little bit to set it apart. Now I know, I know, I know, I've been promising a lookbook on how to wear the Jodhpur, and it's coming very soon. Super underrated, classy, stylish, and smooth, you might want to think about adding a Jodhpur to your fall and winter boot collection. Okay, so there you have it, my picks for the seven boots you need this fall and winter. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite cold weather boot is. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out.